There's a 255mm premium quality diamond blade supplied with the saw, allowing for efficient and clean cutting. An innovative feature added are these built-in wheels. These will aid you to allow for greater accuracy of the cut, whilst also relieving the stress on your back. Notice this ergonomic handle and trigger design. It's just really comfortable to use, whether you're a left or right-handed user. Having one dedicated multi-tool for all the required adjustments means that time-consuming blade changes are a thing of the past. The R255 DCT is highly maneuverable when in operation. With no maintenance and low running costs, simply plug into your power supply and you're ready for cooking. I grew up in Arkansas. A lot of people do things themselves there. Same way I was raised. So the reason why I love the Roto Razor, it's compact, it fits into a small apartment. The first time I actually had to make a curved cut, I was blown away. Because in my world, the only thing you ever use to make a curved cut is a jigsaw. The reason why I'm passionate about it is because I love to build and I love to empower other people to build things. When you can build something from start to finish and step away and say, I made that. And when your friends come over, you say, look what I did. The three inch cutoff tool has great power. The M12 delivers again. The Milwaukee cutoff tool cuts extremely fast. Clean cut every time. Small, powerful, portable. It's precise. You can make a nice straight cut, clean cut. The Milwaukee three inch cutoff tool, it's really easy to use. One hand to hold the material, one hand to use the tool. Being one handed, you can kind of get into a lot tighter spaces. The ergonomics of the tool is great. The way the blade is parallel to the rest of the body of the tool makes cutting easier. The three inch cutoff tool has a unique feature where it, you can change the rotation of the blade. You can cut in either direction. Yeah, the guard that the three inch cutoff tool comes with has a port for dust extraction. Uh, and it does a great job for in tight quarters. The Milwaukee cutoff tool cuts through plastic, fiberglass, metal, stainless steel, welds. It cuts everything quickly and cleanly. The size and the power, it's, it's great. It's, it's portable enough to carry with you, but powerful enough to cut whatever you need. The three inch cutoff tool is heavy duty. Speed, power, durability, every time you pick it up it works and cuts fast and clean. Milwaukee's done it again. Looking for a blade that gets the job done faster with less noise and vibration? Look no further than the 14-inch ultra premium segmented diamond blade from Makita. This new blade features unique laser welded M-shaped segments with optimum diamond placement for unmatched speed, cutting performance and blade life. This 3D diamond grid technology means the diamonds are set in a precise three-dimensional arrangement. This is optimum positioning for faster and more efficient cutting. So you can count on your blade to slice through concrete and asphalt with faster speed and less effort. Cut after cut, the laminate blade treatment and specially reinforced core are engineered to reduce noise and vibration for a world-class cutting experience. Whether you're cutting cured concrete, green concrete, asphalt, block, brick or granite, it's the perfect blade for your power cutter. Everything else has come out cordless and I wondered why nobody had made a cordless chop saw. For us, it's been great. Having 20 years experience with the uh, gas power saws, I'm really impressed. You know, you can just go grab any of the FlexVolt batteries, especially when, you know, production's pushing, we need it right now. Toss it in there and you're good to go. This it's not too heavy, it's special for uh, climbing on top of walls. Oh yeah, the, the weight of the saw is great. It weighs about half your average gasoline saw. You can walk with it two, three floors. You don't have to get it with a crane. That's one of my favorite tools. Well, we use it on rebar. We can cut up to number 11. Also, we use it on concrete. For me, it's working good. It's just strong. It's light, it's fast, it takes a hard beating. It's nice saw. It's really made a place for itself on our job site. The wall. Definitely. I'm going to go with the DeWalt.